Hello everyone, my name is Tony and welcome to POV Rent, brought to you by ANR Pro Media. Today we'll be talking about the vaccine and people who jump to the front of the line. We'll talk about that and more coming up. Okay, so it's here, the vaccine. And they are deciding who gets it first. Well, actually, it should be a no-brainer, right? I mean, the people on the front line, does anybody disagree with that one? The first responders, no? Anybody disagree with that? The people who are there to um, protect you, um, drive you to the uh, doctors, you know, ambulance, um, all those people. Um, and that just scratching the surface. I'm talking about, you know, there's all kind of first responders without getting into all the different types. But do they deserve to be at the front of the line? Of course they do. And I'm going to tell you why. Because without them, who's going to help us? right the people in um, DC they're not gonna come down and you know drive their car to come pick you up to rush you to the hospital right and they're not gonna come down to um, take a report next time you get into an accident and they're not going to you know be checking you in to the hospital to your ICU bed or to you know get checked to see if you have uh, the virus you know they're not gonna be doing none of that right but yet and all, we're having a problem with news reports coming out about politicians, uh, donors, you know, super PAC people with deep pockets, you know, getting this vaccine because of money or who you know. And what's really insulting about that is some of them. Not all, but I mean like some of them actually thought this was a joke. They didn't even take it serious. But yet, soon as a cure vaccine came along, who was at the front of the line? They told you, go out, have a meal with your uh, family and friends, and don't be afraid to go to that, uh, you know wedding reception or you know just go out and have a good time go to a bar have a drink that's what they told you remember that <laughs> they don't want you to remember that I hope you do those people those people who said this would magically disappear after the elections those people mm -hmm. front of the line yeah front of the line now why why would you rush to the front of the line for something that isn't real? Something that you don't think even exists. But there's people out there who think that makes sense. Like, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm, that's good. That's good. Mm. What? What? How does that make sense? I mean, really, how does that make sense? That's like you being out of work in the food line, uh, you know, because we have all these food banks now, you know, overloaded because they have all kind of people who are starving and need food right now. It's like you being in the line at the food bank, right? Because you lost your job, lost your wages. And here comes your boss to the front of the line to pick up some food before he goes home. Hey. The guy that laid you off like two weeks ago. Still working. That's the kind of craziness people are okay with. How can you be okay with something like that, right? I mean, if you have any kind of relatives, know anyone who works in those professions, I mean, like, how can you, how can you justify that? How can you lie to yourself and say that that's okay? The vaccine should be specifically right now 
for people who are putting their lives and their family in danger by doing their job. Without question, those should be the first people. And then from there, you can start deciding who's next, what not. Now, right now, luckily for us, those are the people who are getting the shots, and so are the elderly. Because those are the two populations that need it the most right now. Elderly, because it's obvious, you know, their immune systems aren't at the peak of uh, where it should be. <laughs> And so they can use that because they've been dying in big numbers. So those two groups of people, yeah, I can see that. After that, we can talk about it, have the discussions, firefighters, police officers, teachers, all of them. Next tier. Anybody disagree with that? No. Okay. I can agree with that. Then everybody else. If you want things to go back to normal, then you need to make sure that the people who make sure those things happen are okay. Take care of them first. And then we can try to get back to normal. Then you can start delegating to everybody else. Open it up to the rest of the country. You know, put your people in place that are going to be needed to get things started again. It just makes sense. Why wouldn't you Build your foundation and then start building your house. Why are you going to start with the roof if you don't have nothing to put the roof on? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's the rant for today. POV Rant and our Pro Media. Peace. Until next time, subscribe. Click that like button. What do you got to lose?